selesai BP untuk round 2 uh, So basically out dia lebih kurang sama Cuma bezanya pada bahagian starting initiate tu lah uh, Semalam kita initiate zigzag Hari ni kita initiate U-turn Okay so lepas tu semua sama So let's go Okay Pusing main kereta dah ready Malam tukar engine Long pun dah ready keluar untuk fletis Pusing First fletis Along Mantap lah Long Okay. Um, semalam dia punya kereta uh, Power steering belting So hari ni dia practice Handbrake tak ada Kita tak pasti apa isu dia uh, Diorang akan bos name Untuk dapat lah hari ni eh. Now we have the only V8 In competition here today Qualifying For Drift Kings round number 2 Right here at Malacca International Motorsport Circuit We have Farzine, car number 187, giving us the thumbs up as he's ready to roll. This car sounds phenomenal. I hope you got some uh, headphones plugged in. If you do, turn up that volume right now. No turbo flutter here, just raw V8. Oh, listen, 500 horsepower LS3, I believe. Coming up a bit short there on the first clip. Not too much angle on the transition, but getting the clip through Regala, splashing through our puddle. Some alterations on the angle there, just before he moves through the transition and around the fourth inside clipping point. And at least to be able to reach that first outside clip in sector one. It could be a little bit difficult if you're not going fast enough to be able to get the car and the angle and the momentum uh, that comes with it to hit that first clip. Farzine with the only V8. It's got a bit of weight reduction on that rear bumper, I think due to the uh, water from yesterday's runs. Nickname the LS15. Hits the first part of the outer clip, but not the second. Quite straight through the second clipping area, but nice transition. But Span hit the water, unfortunately. A big fat zero for Farzine. Unfortunately. Don't, don't like, that's not an S15. The cheapest car here, the S15, because there are so many of them. <laughs> if... Uh, you know, it's all about supply and demand. FRT team, Fusing from East Malaysia, whipping the Variata, getting the initial part of the clip there through our first corner, getting a nice clipping point through Regala. Completely missing the water somehow. Nice transition into our fourth and final clip. Nice and close. To, uh, the engine blown, yes, one of the cylinders was gone. Cylinder number one had an injection issue. Not sure what that was about, but uh, basically one cylinder was out, engine was taken apart, and they rebuilt it, but maybe there's still some issues right now. Didn't get that first out of clip, unfortunately. Nice transition, great bit of clipping point, and oh, he's got a lot of angle going on there. After he hit the water, that spanned the back end of his car out. Going through Regala. Nice fourth clip. Plenty of smoke. S chassis. Vape tape takes off. They look really cool. They're like retro vaping cassette tapes. Nice initiation. Lots of anti-lag. Unfortunately, completely misses that first clip. 
Nice transition, however. Misses the third clip as well and spins it. Does a 360 just like he's playing Ridge Race and Revolution as retro as vape tape. Running out the left side of the box, the lead side. Lots of smoke and initiation there, but completely missing the outside clip. Lots of straightening out there going on. He's just driving straight. Zero drift there, unfortunately. Which means zero points. Yeah, something's going wrong. Our, our judges are saying potentially a clutch. Uh, and that is what happened is rejab auto spa urging you to get another rejab of your covid vaccination <laughs> i said rehab yesterday because i'm going through rehab for my wrist but uh he's asking you to rejab your covid vaccination i this is uh this is not an official <laughs> word it's it's just it's just the name here he goes Fast car, early initiation, handbrake, pulled. Maybe gets that first clip, does well, gets the second clip, no wheels off, fully on the throttle through that transition. A little shallow through that first, well, rather third clipping point, but keeps things nice and tidy through the transition. Super close, but eats a cone, doesn't fall over though. Still standing, petition. This is Drift Kings round number two, and that's going to score him a zero, unfortunately. But he does have points from his first round of qualifications, so he still stands a chance to progress. Rejab, auto spa, car number 28. So loud, so menacing. Lovely S13. Doesn't quite go deep enough. Keeps the car hanging out there on the rev limiter. Lots of anti-lag. Looking good, nice and inside near that cone. Inside of Regala there. Transition's good. Tight on the fourth and final. Lots of smoke through the finish line. Car, oh, Ken Young. Next car. Ben Ike Speed. Aki Speed from FRT. Oh, what was that? Was that late initiation? Very late, but super nice through the first clip point. Gonna have to check that replay. Benaki Speed now doing a nice job of getting through that third clip point. A bit of a splash is a good indicator that that was hit. Smooth on the steering, no corrections. Good transition and a nice fourth clip. Driver ready as he pulls out of the blocks. Boom, good initiation. Let's see how deep he goes. Oh my goodness, oh! What a shame. That's another double zero, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful run, but unfortunately, takes a cone out right at the beginning. If he just managed to keep that under control, this run would have scored very, very well. Okay, uh, Alhamdulillah. Baru lepas briefing dan... Tanya Reja! Tanya Reja! Okay, Alhamdulillah. Baru lepas qualify result dan kita dapat nombor 16 daripada 31 driver lah. Dan kita akan duduk di left bracket. So, maksudnya kita akan tandem dulu lah. Saya dalam second tandem battle, so doakan saya moga dapat lepas lah. Okay, thank you. Rejab Auto Spa versus our boy in the RX7. So rocking a brand new gearbox for Rejab Auto, We've got sequential for the first time. Taking the lead. Nice initiation from both of our drivers. A bit of a gap from our boy, but he's closed the distance. However, Rijab is uh, taking the rest of the run 
away right now as our boy failed to get close and proximity. Rejab taking the fourth and final proximity. Uh, flipping point. RX713B Turbo taking the lead from our boy. Rijab closing. Proximity. Good initiation from the RX7. Rijab taking a very wide line, using momentum and now falling behind proximity. RX7 from our boy is pushing ahead, getting good lines. Rijab is uh, trying desperately to reclose proximity before the end of the course. Doesn't quite get it. We're going to check a replay on that to see exactly what happened. Oh, selesai bahagian kita. Uh, tandem untuk best 32 round 2. Tak ada rezeki. Uh, kita cuba lagi akan datang lah. Alright, so kita sambung tengok pusing dengan Alung. Alright. Bye. Slim is going to be chasing. Two big SR, rather, two JZ cars. Big initiation, great speed. Not quite getting to the far end of the track. But doing nice runs nonetheless. Proximity is not being kept up by Lawrence Lim. Fusing seems to be able to uh, pull away. Lawrence Lim getting much closer as they get to the final clipping point. Plenty of smoke. Our audience appreciates that. With Lawrence Lim in the lead, being chased by Fusing. And they are off. Big initiation, lots of anti-lag. It looks like Lawrence Lim went deep, or at least deeper than Fu Sing did. Fu Sing keeping proximity as they do the transfer. Drone following close behind as they go through Riga. Nice proximity there. Lawrence Lim doing his best to keep Fu Sing away. Unfortunately, Fu Sing is close in proximity, almost door to door through the fourth and final clipping point. What a good run, even more smoke this time, November. And he's rocking 18 inch wheels with an SR20, so probably about 350 horsepower and 18 inch tires. So, big power difference between the SR20, big torque difference between the SR20 or so and the 2JZ. Now, out of the gates, we got Farine with a V8 and Marcus Lim chasing the 180 set. Wow, lots of drama going on there in the corner, not quite hitting the clipping points. But Farin pulling away quite drastically from Marcus Lim with the Chase 180SX. Marcus Lim getting lost in the smoke. All sorts of corrections happening there. Farin, oh! Farin has smoked out Marcus Lim in his SR2180 SX and run him off the track. What a shame, it was a great looking run. And now we have the reverse battle between Farin, V8, S15, chasing Marcus Lim, who's leading right now. I can tell you, I wouldn't want that V8 breathing down my neck. Oh my goodness, wow. He didn't hit a cone though. He didn't hit a cone, so is he okay? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, Marcus Lim makes a mistake in the lead position and scores zero points, allowing Farin to progress into our top 16. Fusing in the lead on the left-hand side, Verrieta S15, pink and yellow. Ahau, 180SX in the chase. Woo! Sideways through the grandstand. Fusing not going very deep there. And as he's straightening up from a howl, that's going to be difficult for our judges to judge. A howl doing all sorts of corrections, but Fu Sing might not have gone deep enough. We're going to be probably checking his speed on initiation. It looked good, but it might not have been very fast. A howl managed to gain pro. A howl? 
in the 186. And they are off. Quite close proximity here. Ahau pulling away. Boosting not able to do too much. Ahau working that car really, really hard. Fusing not able to get close. Fourth proximity is still quite far from Fusing. Lots of smoke next year. So next year, Jack Tan will be back with NDS. But right now, Jambu is taking the lead with his S15 and fire. Fazrin with the V8 is chasing. Fazrin getting the line but losing proximity. Jambu cutting a little bit, but Fazrin was not following the lead car and now has lost proximity. As far as I know, the chase car should be just trying to follow the lead car and not try and hit the clipping points. So it's the lead car's duty to hit clip points and the chase car's duty. Fuzzerin leading. Let's listen to that V8, it's beautiful. Lots of handbrake and foot brake from Fuzzerin. Doesn't go super deep, quite usual for Fuzzerin. He never goes deep there. Jambu not able to catch up with that 500 horsepower NALS. Very different angles of the cars there. Jambu doing his best to catch up and getting proximity just before the last corner and clipping point. Nice run from these two guys. Ready? All I can smell is smoke right now. Tire smoke. Smells good. Fusing being chased by a howl, being chased by a drone. Oh, this is how it should be. Very nice positioning from Fusing, but a howl not able to keep up. This is a clear win for Fusing if he can continue and finish this run. A howl surely close proximity, but Fusing got the right lines that time. And as he crosses the line, I believe he won that. Big round of applause for Fusing, taking some almost perfect lines there. Lovely stuff. And I'm sure... All these cars, they all look alike. Right. Oh, up. Uh. Ahau in the lead, Fusing chasing. But chasing very slow is going to have to do very... Work very hard in order to catch up. Fusing is now about to catch proximity, and he now does. That is a very good move from Fusing right there. Ahau taking some reasonable lines, but Fusing managing to get proximity after having such a slow out of the blocks start. Oh, oh, oh! But uh... let's go. Denkajen out in front in the chicane. Both drivers lining up. Dijan nice and out in front. Goes pretty deep to the clipping point. Oh, almost contact there from Fusing. Fusing managing to catch up a little bit, closing proximity as they go through into Riga. Door to door, very good position there from Fusing. But he's very close to the front of the car manages to shift the way back a little for the transition and Fu Sing is super close that was a really good chase run DJ and Fu Sing taking the lead this time are you ready for this audience I think you are here we go Fu Sing out in front of that very S S15 DJ and super close let's see what the lines are like Fu Sing getting quite deep down there Door to door, Prince of Drift, Dijan doing a good job, but Fusing pulling away. Fusing doing a very good third clip, and Dijan slowing down. If Fusing can just hold it together, he'll have got this round. Oh my goodness, there you go, crowd goes wild. Fusing takes it. We're going to check a replay out just to make sure.
but it does look like a fang. And Fazreen chasing. And Rul Talfek has been very consistent today with his S14. He's in the lead run. Let's see if he can, can keep that consistency up. He rolls in nice and deep, doing a beautiful clipping point as per usual. Fazrin doing a good job to stay nice and close. Talfek is taking some beautiful lines here though, but Fazrin, as a chase driver, is doing everything he needs to do, but he spins. Oh my goodness, on the final clipping point. Double check, we're gonna see if Amrul Talfek did something. Dan seterusnya pertemuan di antara Fazrin Ismail dan juga Amirul Taufik. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Walaupun dia lepaskan ini dia, LS15 versus Amirul Taufik. Fazrin Ismail, S14 versus LS15. Ini shit. Sedikit jauh ditinggalkan oleh Fazrin Fazri Ismail. Baik daripada kedua-dua driver, attacking daripada Amirul Taufik. Fazrin Ismail cuba meninggalkan. Gap yang sedikit jauh ditinggalkan oleh Amirul Fazrin Ismail. Wow. Sangat baik daripada Fazri Ismail dan juga Amirul Taufik. Ini dia pertemuan antara Fazri dan juga Amirul Assistant versus Asfontin. Ini dia Fazri Ismail dan juga Amirul Taufik. MRC makes some noise! The first half of the battle between Amirul Taufik in the lead and Fusing in the Nissan Varietta chasing. Off they go. Keep your eyes peeled, do not blink. Fusing, very far behind, but that's not the first time he's done that. Readjusting in the first clipping point zone, seven clipping point zone. Losing a bit of distance, but Fusing catching up, going very wide. A bit of angle being pushed out there, so not getting ultra close proximity. It's a good run from both of our drivers. But it does look like Amaral took some good lines there and Fusing was not super close. Everyone's ready, judges, drivers, official. And off we go. We got Fusing, we got Amaral and we got a drone. Amaral super close, Fusing, nice initiation. Oh, a bit of straightening there from Fu Singh, but I'm not sure. It might have just been a correction. Amaral staying super close. Super close. Fu Singh doing a good job of the lines. Maybe two wheels up. I'm not sure. Amaral Taufik staying clean on the inside there. Even with that angle and speed, Amaral's got some good proximity. So much smoke. Awesome looking run from both of our drifters there. Sing, okay, guys, sing. Prince of 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 Sing. Woo! 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 Alright, kita dah selesai event NDS collaboration dengan Drift King Asia Cup 2022 eh. Alright, so kita jumpa lagi di event Drift akan datang. Thank you guys.